Biotechnology permeates many areas of our modern lives. You might think that progress in the field of biotechnology is a recent phenomenon, product of the 20th and 21st centuries, right? Wrong. Biotechnology has been making our lives simpler, healthier, and better for over 10,000 years. Hi, I'm Dr. David Targan, and welcome to BioBytes. Let's travel back a bit to around 4,000 BC. One of the first major advances in biotechnology occurred along the Nile, where Egyptians began using the active agents in yeast to leaven bread and ferment beer. This scientifically significant and tasty advancement provided people with an entirely new array of food products, including breads, cheeses, wine, and beer. Though aspects of the technology have been greatly advanced and refined, we're still using and enjoying the bounty of these basic biotech processes. In the 1700s, botanist Joseph Kohlruder first crossbred different species of plants and crops. You might ask what these advancements have to do with biotechnology. Well, by selecting and crossbreeding plants with valuable traits, and excluding others with inferior traits, humans were changing the genetic makeup of plants for the better. So people were using biotechnology to improve food and plants long ago. But what about life-saving advancements? In 1797, English surgeon Edward Jenner successfully performed a vaccination for smallpox by inserting secretions from a cowpox pustule into a boy's arm. Where were the basics of heredity first discovered? If you said in a garden, you're absolutely right. An Austrian monk by the name of Gregor Mendel unearthed the principles of genetics through experiments in his pea garden in 1865. From George Washington Carver's pioneering of peanut and soybean use in feedstock to the use of bacteria to treat waste in English sewers, biotechnology was continuously making advancements throughout the 19th and 20th centuries. Although the field of biotechnology was in full swing at this point, the terminology was a little behind the times. It wasn't until 1919 that the word biotechnology was actually first used in print. 1981 was a landmark year for the biotechnology industry. The FDA approved the use of the first recombinant DNA biotech drug, human insulin produced in genetically modified bacteria. This breakthrough drug offered another insulin option to over a million diabetic Americans who rely on insulin daily. It also paved the way for other drugs using recombinant DNA technology, which means recombining genes from different sources at the molecular level. From food production to genetic engineering to drug development, humans have been making biotechnology discoveries and advancements for over 10,000 years. And with the brightest minds tackling new problems, biotechnology will continue to improve the worldwide quality of life. For BioBytes, I'm Dr. David Target.